Hi everyone, it's a short video today with an upcoming feature of MuseScore 4.1 that I'm keen to take advantage of. When I open up my old MuseScore 3 scores in MuseScore 4, while most of the instruments have been assigned correctly to the Muse Sounds patch, some of them are not correct and we can see even the violas are just on MS Basic and I'm not entirely sure why that's happening, but that's the default. Never mind that for some of the sounds I may want to use VST instruments instead of the Muse sounds that I have as default. There is talk of a future update where we'll be able to have sort of playback profiles that either we can create ourselves or even that MuseScore will create for us that we can just download and use those profiles, but I don't think that's on the cards for 4.1. So at the moment I open up the mixer and for any instrument I'll click on the arrow, select Muse sounds, then say strings and violas. And Annoyingly, these are also in alphabetical order and not in instrument order, which is quite frustrating. The feature that is in development is in the community section. Community tasks are things that would be nice to have, but are not core features that the full-time staff need to handle and should be simple enough to implement by the open source community. This one already has a UI prototype set up and needs someone to implement it in the code. The idea is to have the search bar when finding sounds and effects, which could be really great, particularly when working with large scores or large libraries of effects to choose from. In this way, I could type in, for example, trumpet and see all of the trumpet sounds that I have installed on my computer, or as we can see in the prototype, EQ, and see all the different EQ options that we have installed. At some point, I would love to participate in these community tasks, and I'm so glad that MuseScore is putting an emphasis on involving the community again. So that's a feature that I'm looking forward to in 4.1. Bye.